Hey everyone, and welcome back to Shell's Glam Home. Today I'm excited to share the Clean Closet Challenge, hosted by my sweet friends Heidi Sonvel, as well as Jessica at Casa Magnolia. I hope you enjoy. Guys, to say that my walk-in closet needed some much needed attention is an understatement. This is real life, guys. It got totally out of control. So bad that the whole thing collapsed. So when Heidi put out the invitation, I knew it was the motivation I needed to tackle this project. I started by removing everything, guys. I donated so many clothes to my local St. Vincent de Paul, and I love starting with a very clean slate in mind. I had a vision for my dream closet, and I started with this Dalmatian print stencil that I picked up from eBay. Using the colour Theatre Black by Dulux, I then got my roller and I stenciled the entire walk-in robe in the Dalmatian print. I started by taping the stencil to the left-hand corner and I repeated by going down the wall. The key here, guys, is not to have too much paint on your roller. This prevents the stencil from bleeding. The thing I love about a Dalmatian print, guys, is that little imperfections are fine. A Dalmatian print doesn't have to be perfect, and if you make an error, you just go over it neatly. With the stencil, I tried to line it up as closely to the spots above it. This makes it look all together and you don't have any gaps between each stencil. Once I'd completely done the entire walk-in robe, I was so excited guys. I had a vision and the vision was starting to come to life. about decorating on a budget, I decided the first focal point that I would put in this room would be this vintage gold mirror that I picked up from my local thrift store for just $5. The beauty about this guys, it was already gold, so I hung it at the centre of the room so when you walked in it was the first thing you seen. I then added two battery operated push lights that I picked up from my local dollar store for just $3 each and I placed them above the mirror. Then taking some removable hooks, also from the dollar store, I placed them on the right hand side of the walk-in robe and this is where I would hang my jewellery. Also as a storage solution, I used this over the door hanger that I also picked up from my dollar store and I used this to hang my scarves and belts. Underneath my mirror guys, I added this bench. I was so excited that it fit guys and I covered it with a simple single bed quilt cover that I picked up from Big W for just $8. I love how it matched my Dalmatian print. And at the top of the shelf guys, I added this little fake fur stool and I used this as a shelf for my shoe collection as well as my hats. And then on the left hand side, I've just folded the remaining clothes that I kept. Now I have a vision guys that eventually I'm going to get my husband to put an additional shelf up there as I just feel that it would give me so much more storage than just one big large shelf. I 
also from the dollar store guys I picked up these velvet black coat hangers guys these were such a good buy you buy a box of 20 for $20 and I tell you I, I wish I'd found these sooner they are a great invention nothing falls off nothing hangs over they just sit perfectly for any item of clothing And here I'm also using this little glam bling over the door hanger that I picked up from TK Maxx probably about a year ago. I'm currently hanging my favourite top there but I also like to hang my handbag there so it's just as simple as just walking over and grabbing my bag and off I go. Guys, there's no greater feeling than being organised and this was a weekend project that I'm really happy with. I still have some visions for a little bit more organisation at the top shelf but overall my vision definitely come to life. I'm really excited about the little bench in there. I've decorated it for this video but I love the fact that I can sit in there to put my shoes on when I'm heading out. Guys, I didn't actually film covering this little bench, but it was just a $25 bench that I've had for a long time. I took that $8 quilt cover, cut it up and just stapled on the fabric. It was that simple. I also spray painted the legs gold. So thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. I hope I've inspired you in some way to decorate your walk-in robe this weekend. A big thank you to my sweet friends Heidi and Jessica for inviting me on this wonderful challenge. It was much needed on my behalf. I'll leave a link to their channels down below guys and you can see a playlist of other participants who participated in this wonderful challenge. So until next time my friends, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys!